My name is Dan and I hope you're having a great day. Today we're going to talk about the Save a Drop water meter. A few weeks ago Terry and I did a video on using this meter when you're filling your fresh water tank to go camping. This way you don't overflow the tank because we all know that going by the gauges that come in our travel trailers or RVs aren't very accurate. So if you have a 50 gallon tank, you put in 50 gallons, you stop the water, you know you're full. The other purpose that we thought of for doing this is when you're doing your black tank flush. What I do, and I'm thinking some of you may also be doing, when you hook up your black tank water flush, you turn on the water, you're spraying the tank, you release the water, you put some more in, you release the water, you're never sure how much you're putting in. There's also been a couple times where after flushing it a couple times, I've gone into the trailer, checked the, the uh, black tank level, and it says three quarters. But I just dumped the tank. So I know that something is stuck on one of the sensors. So what I'll do is I'll turn the black tank flush on again, and I'll bring it up to near full, and then dump it all. But in order to do that without overfilling, I'm constantly going in the trailer, checking the gauge, coming back out, doing something, go back in, check the gauge. Came pretty close one time. So we figured, why not just get another one of these, mark it with a marker, black tank flush only, just to be safe. And then believe our tank is 30 gallons. I'll have to double check that. But I can stop at 25 to 30 on this gauge. And what this gauge measures is there's two lines on this gauge. The top line is the water flow current. So whatever water you're flowing right now, the bottom one is accumulative, so it'll keep going. Two yellow buttons, the yellow one zeroes the top line and the bottom one zeroes the bottom line. This was given to us by a friend of ours um, I have seen them on Amazon. I'm going to have to buy a second one to use on the black tank. I uh, just haven't purchased it yet and we're not going to test this. We're only suggesting it today. We will do another video once I have another one or possibly we'll use this and the new one will be the fresh water tank. Either way, we'll do that. What we want to do today is now that we have two uses for this, for our travel trailer, and hopefully it's useful for you too, this information, what we're going to do is we're going to measure two gallons of flow into our water container here that we used in another video on shower heads where we tested the flow of uh, an oxygenic shower head compared to the factory installed shower head in our travel trailer. So we're going to test this and make sure that it's actually accurate enough to use for those two purposes. Now, even if it's out half a gallon, I know. Do we have to be that accurate when we're filling the black water tank? No. Do we have to be that accurate when we're filling the fresh water tank? No. But if you're going boondocking and you want to make sure you have that tank to maximum without overflowing, I can see it being useful. Either way, we have the gauge, we have water, we already have our tank with the markings on it in, in uh, one gallon to two and a half gallon increments. Why not do the test? So here we have our typical Campco freshwater hose. This is the spout we use for filling our freshwater tank. It has an on off switch, which is great. You stick this in the tube, you turn it on, you fill your tank. So what we're going to do is we're gonna put this meter on. Sorry about that, I forgot I had the water on. We'll release the water. Okay. We will take this filler and off. Make sure there's a gasket in there. We'll put the meter on here. And we'll put this filler end back on just so we have a means of turning the water on and off instead of getting water everywhere. Now we'll just turn the water back on and make sure we don't have any leaks. Perfect. No water leaks is good, especially in the garage. So we have both gauges are zeroed out. We're gonna turn the water on. 
We're gonna run it to, I don't wanna fill it up, to two and a half, and we'll see how accurate this gauge is. One and three quarters. Let's just stop at two. Right on two. And the gauge says 2.2. .2. there we have it, two and a half gallons, and it says 2.7 gallons on the meter. Okay, so as you saw in our test, we measured 2.7 gallons on the water gauge, but in measured increments on that water container, we measured 2.5. Now, Sure, there could be some inaccuracy on both sides. Uh, we did use a measuring cup to put those increments on that water jug. So I would think it's going to be accurate. Um, but there's always room for, for in, uh, in error in, in any product. But if we go by what we've measured in the testing that we have, that is an 8% difference between the 2.7 on the meter and the 2.5 measured on the water jug. Now an 8% difference on a 50 gallon freshwater tank like we have on our travel trailer, that works out to four gallons. That is almost two of those plastic, clear plastic water jugs that you saw me using to measure um, the water flow. So, Fortunately, the gauge reads higher than actual measured. So if I fill our tank till the gauge says 50, we actually have 46, we're not overflowing the tank. But now I know that I can go 8% more when I'm filling that fresh water tank if I want it to the top. If you're concerned about accuracy and you buy one of these or any other meter, just do a quick test. Do a quick test because possibly the next one that I was to test, and maybe I'll do that when I buy the second one to use on the black water tank, it could be lower. So when the re uh, gauge reads 50 gallons, I could have an 8% um, lower number than what I actually put in my tank and be 54, which means it's gonna be overflowing all over the place. So measure yours if you're going to be that accurate and if that's the reason why you purchased this. Um, I purchased it or actually was going to purchase it but a friend of ours gave it to us um, to have an idea of how much water I was putting in. Uh, we're not boondocking for more than a weekend. If I'm shy a couple gallons, we're gonna be okay. But if you need to be more accurate, I would measure the one that you purchase before using just so you know how accurate it really is for the money I think I saw this for 40 bucks on amazon.ca uh, for the money it's I think it's a pretty good gauge um, it'll work for us especially on the black tank side when I'm not filling the tank I'm just trying to get it to about three quarters so it'll help us a lot with that I don't have to run in and out of the trailer to see what the level is before sh I have to run back out and shut it off so Hope that helps and happy camping.